A lock notch is a very basic and necessary notch, and you should be familiar with it. It is also easy to make, and leads directly to a sheep's head notch. A lock notch is used on floor joists, outriggers, or plate logs, or any log which should be restrained from moving sideways. It is also used where greater strength is needed in the notch, and should be considered for any saddle notch which is to be cut more than one halfway through the log. Scribe the log in the usual way, but before the log is moved off the building for cutting, a little more layout is needed. Place a level line across the scribe on each side at an elevation suited to the work. This may be high on the scribe or low on the scribe. The lower you place the line, the more material will be left in the top log and consequently the greater strength, with less material and less strength in the bottom piece. The higher you place the line, the opposite is true. If there is no other criteria, place the level line in the center. A good way to do this is to place a level across the under log, either flat or upright, or you can use a spacer under the level if required. This will easily get the level line the same height on each side. Use the same scriber distance to locate four points directly below the intersection of the scribe line and the level line, and when both ends have been done, the log may be removed from the wall.
Join the pairs of points on each side of the lower log. Then measure in 15 or 20 millimeters from each point and join these across the top. These are your cut lines. The most common mistake with this notch is to forget to mark in this setback and to cut directly to the points. By doing this you will leave an open notch at the top. Score this notch and cut it to the depth of the second level line or an additional three millimeters. Make a wider cut at one end. This will allow you to observe the tip of the saw as it goes through the plunge cut. For the other half of the notch, the object is to leave a plug of wood in the center of the notch that will match the cut we have just finished. Score around the notch, then cut only to the depth of the level lines.
measure in the same setback from each corner that you used on the other part, that is 15 or 20 millimeters, and join these pairs along the side of the notch. The side segments can be removed with multiple saw cuts or by plunge cutting to near depth at the back, then cutting around the notch only near the line and finishing with a slightly curved chisel. When this work has been completed and cleaned up to your satisfaction, the notch will be complete and the log can be replaced on the wall. <laughs>